Let's review it. <laughs> inside ready to review with that messed up footage at the beginning i'm sorry but yeah i like i said if you watched the bootleg video i'm i was going to receive a bootleg NECA godzilla and here we are to review it now um there's a wwe ring in my way so i'm just moving that one to my bed and now i'm gonna move the fucking figures out my way so i can actually move around with this guy but let me explain how he looks so far so details are actually pretty great there are some paint issues and I'll get to it as soon as I move these figures quick enough and this should be a pretty short video since this guy doesn't come with any accessories or not that much actually so that's pretty sad but detail so as you can tell texture and everything it looks pretty good it it feels pretty nice uh, there's his dorsal plates on the back and I mean, yeah, it looks like a NECA figure, but I'm pretty sure you can notice from far away, he is quite small. Now, that is pretty sad, because I have a official NECA King Kong, and it is taller than him, sadly. And as you can tell from the dorsal plates on his tail, they're not all painted. Now, yes, I could do that, but I only have white paint, and I don't know how to make this type of color on the back. So, I'm not going to paint him, but... Also, his <laughs> nails right here aren't painted, but these are. But not only that, they're two different hands. This one's bigger than this one. So that means they have, they used a different Godzilla hand for this. And, and then just had the original hand right there. And just didn't bother making another one or didn't bother, you know, trying to match the hands. So that's pretty sad. The head sculpt looks pretty good. It looks a little small on the body, but it, it's still pretty good. I like it. And the toenails are painted nicely. Uh, there's no... At least I don't think there's no... What would you call it? I don't know, whatever you you would call it on the foot that would make it official or whatever. Sorry, I have a runny nose, so this is pretty annoying. And it's hot in here, so that sucks. But anyways, as I was saying... Overall, detail on this figure is pretty good. It feels like a NECA, kind of, not fully. I have, I own like three different NECA figures. I only, only, the only one with texture, really, is the King Kong figure. Which I'll pull out when we go into scaling. Excuse me. Now, articulation. I really want to talk about the tail real quick. So, the tail, it moves, like, down here a little bit. I think up here, no, it just swells like up here a little bit, but it moves like right here, and then it moves right here, and then it moves down here. Now, what I wish this boot like would have had was like you know the same parts as this all the way throughout here because this has the bendy wire, and I am always so scared to move it around, I feel like it's going to tear, so that's a bad part, and that goes for the official. Godzilla figures because they also or some of them use bendy wire some of them are like down here but you have to be careful with this I guess because this bendy wire or this tail feels like it's going to break and not to mention the plastic's pretty rough hard whatever you want to call it that won't turn you on and so it's kind of scary to pose this but I don't know I oh okay that's fine you know you just plug it back in. First of all, you're going to need hot water. And I'm going to have to use my strength. There we go. That was pretty simple. But that that will be fine. As long as you don't leave it out for too long, it should pop back in. But anyways, yeah. So yeah, bendy wire is in this. And it's always scary to use. But, you know, it's not too bad, I guess. Where does WWE sticker come from? Get out of here, you little silly goose. But yeah. It's not too bad. Also, articulation. He has, uh, you know, finger joints. His mouth opens. You know, moves around. Not too well. I mean, it's a Godzilla figure. There's not much you can do with him. But he looks pretty cool. And, you know, he'll just be here when I want to do King Kong versus 
you know, Godzilla. So, yeah. There's really not much articulation to this guy. He's a pretty simple figure, I guess you can say. There we go. I'm trying to get his tail even higher than it's supposed to be. I don't know. The bendy wire is like scary <laughs> to use. It pop back out. I don't know if that happens on the original or, you know, the standard. No, not the official Godzilla where the top just, I mean, tail pops out. But uh, yeah, that's what happens on the bootlegs. But it's still a pretty cool figure, you know. It's not too bad. It's not terrible. I, I, I really do like it. Now articulation, like I said, is not much. It's just a Godzilla figure. There's not much you can do with it. Um, for mine, this knee is like popped out a little bit, I guess. Because when I bend it, it looks like this, right? And I don't know why it looks like that. <laughs> because this one, this knee, when I bend it, it's like this. So, basically... I'm guessing one of his legs are longer than the other, but yet yeah, it doesn't look like it. At least not to me in person. I don't know about on camera. But he's also not lopsided. You know, he's not lopsided. He's just there. Like, let me back up. See? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a small little defect. I mean, it's a bootleg after all. But, yeah, that's it for, like, detail and scaling. Overall, it's still great. Some missing paint, which is always going to happen on bootlegs. But I, I think it's still pretty good. I mean, I don't know. But for accessories, he doesn't come with anything. Not even an atomic blast, which is what the original figure is. Oh, I didn't even say this. This is the Space Godzilla versus Godzilla figure from 1990 or 84 uh, it's one of those two <laughs> but yeah so this is this is cool I'm sorry I didn't mention that but yeah but yeah no accessories the official one didn't even come with an atomic blast so this guy didn't come with an atomic blast so that's sad you know <laughs> but yeah overall I, I actually think this is pretty good so far yeah I, I like it is his arm backwards <laughs> No, it's still the same. Okay. Godzilla. Roar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I was really excited for this guy. I, I actually really like Godzilla. But I highly doubt I'm actually going to, you know, get any more Godzilla figures. Especially since it's kind of canceled for NECA. And the SH Monster Arts are expensive for me. So that sucks. <laughs> I really wish NECA could get the license again. I really wish Toho would, you know, give them the license. But I also wish Dae would give NECA the license to make Gamera figures. I'm a really big fan of Gamera. I love that turtle so much. I would make love to it. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not my fault. But, like, you get the point. I, I would not really like a Gamera figure. The Monster Arts don't look that great to me. Though, they're still pretty good, but they're not that good. Great. So I would love to see NECA like come out with a Gamera one day. And maybe hopefully they do. But I highly doubt it. Only time will tell. Maybe we'll get it when I'm dead. But yeah. Anyways, let's go on the scale and, and <laughs> explain why this guy may seem small. So here is Godzilla with these two monkeys. Okay. <laughs> that that uh, Please never take that out of content context but you, you get the point it's king kong and optimus primal you know it's from the new transformer movie which i never watched i just thought the figure looked cool and as you can tell godzilla is really small like my penis so why is he small well first of all he's a bootleg could you make these two work yes you can but you will obviously have to crouch king kong down now, this is pretty upsetting. Godzilla should always be taller than King Kong. Because King Kong is little and smaller. Is littler and, but smaller than Godzilla. Godzilla was always taller. I never knew the fucking... I never knew why y'all Kong fans always be like, Oh, well, Kong would beat his ass. No, he, he's smaller. And then they have to make him big and then give him upgrades just to win against a fucking lizard. But hey, it's monkey. 
But yeah, this is how he scales next to an official NECA figure and, you know, a model kit. He's a small little lizard. Now here is the bootleg Godzilla next to the NECA Casey Jones from the Mirage comics. But the red variant. And here he is next to the Super 7 Raphael. I will be doing a review on this guy. I just wanted to do a review on this Godzilla first before I do it. But overall, this figure is pretty good, but with some problems. But, uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, Godzilla should not be smaller than Casey Jones. The official one, at least. But, I, I mean, it still looks good. But, yes, he, he's small, as, as you can tell. But if you want, like, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle kind of Godzilla, you know, you can use this guy. I mean, he, he's tiny. And he's tall as a... Ninja Turtles, you can somehow fit them in <laughs> into the Ninja Turtle comic panel type thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Treat him like a mutant, basically. But, yeah, this is how he scales with these two. Now, here he is next to this fucking piece of shit. If you're unfortunate enough to have this, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry you have to fucking buy this little pansy little cunt. But... Also, here's Godzilla next to... What action figures fell? I'm curious. But anyways, I, like I was saying, here he is next to the NECA Chucky. The, 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 I don't even know which one. There's been like actually so many variants. But yeah, here's this one. Before he turned into a gay guy. No, no, no. no. But like, I, I honestly like the Chucky series. It, it's pretty good. I don't care about the gay stuff. Okay, anyway. But yeah, this guy's pretty cool. You know, I, Wait, what am I saying? Yeah, this is <laughs> this is how he scales with, with Chucky and this fucking abomination of an action figure. Get the fuck out of here. I hate that figure. I, I, I knew, I know I've been saying he is small, but I didn't realize he was this small. Wow. I'm going to burn this. No, I won't. I, I like this guy though. But anyways, here he is next to the Marvel Select. You know, Hulk and the Retro Wave Grey Beast from Marvel Legends. You can have some werewolf versus Godzilla type action. You know, upscale him like they did. Had to do with, you know, King Kong in order for him to actually fight Godzilla. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. I will bash King Kong this whole episode if I want to. Episode, like, this is a TV show. But yeah, this is how he scales. This, I mean, he, he's small. I, I keep saying it. Now here he is with the Marvel Legends, blah, what the fuck was that? Marvel Legends Love and Thunder Thor, you know, from Marvel Legends. That was a voice crack, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should, I should quit my YouTube channel. And the Marvel Legends Venom from the Null and Venom 2 pack, which Null is in the box behind Godzilla, because, I mean, I don't really care about that figure, but yeah. And the reason why I bring these two Marvel characters in, I, I don't know why I brought Venom in, but the reason why I brought Thor in here is because Godzilla actually appeared in a Marvel comic and fought Thor. He didn't fight Hulk, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure everyone would love to see that, but Godzilla and Thor have fought before, but obviously Thor was way smaller. So if you could somehow find a very small Thor figure, I guess like a mini statue or something, I guess like this Batman... You can actually have him fight this Godzilla in case you want to buy this. So, yeah, there's a little fun fact. Next up, here he is next to the Jack Pacific's Knuckles and Sonic the Hedgehog from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 line. Action figure line, you know, because the first movie was going to have a realistic Sonic, so they had to cancel their action figures and then rework them. So, and not to mention the film had the rework Sonic's design and then out, out came Sonic and then the second movie. Kind of awesome time, not gonna lie. But yeah, here is next to these two. I don't know why I brought them out, but I just feel like it's a nice addition, especially for the furries out there who might watch this video. Hi, I don't hate you. Just, I don't know. Just, uh, just don't, don't spread hate or anything. Don't end up like Kaneko Kidding. Here's Godzilla with these little things from the official NECA, you know, uh, what's his name, King Kong? 
I guess you can treat this guy as Rodan if you want, if you're that desperate. But, like, they have no similarities. This is literally just a pterodactyl. But, you know, if you can customize, you can make this into Rodan or something. And this thing, I don't know, treat it like Zilla. But, yeah, that, that's how, how he scales. What, this is how he scales with them. I, I don't know what else you want. And, finally, to end it off with the best three Spider-Man figures that I own... The Amazing Fantasy Marvel Legends Spider-Man, the Bootleg Sentinel Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man, and the Retro Wave Marvel Legends Symbiote Spider-Man. And this obviously concludes the video. Thank y'all for watching. Now, yes, there are problems with this Godzilla. Some missing paint, being too small. And, you know, having some issues here and there. Not to mention the bendy wire tail. But, minus those, this is a pretty good Godzilla figure for your collection. He is small, yes. But, if you don't care and just want a Godzilla figure in your shelf, then he would be a nice addition. If you own the King Kong NECA figure, then you can obviously fit these two in with skill. I've done it. I might put up a picture right here. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it, it's a small little... Godzilla, but like, just because he's small, don't don't reject it like my girlfriend did with my sister. But yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he, he's a little guy, and he's he's a pretty cool action figure, you know. So yeah. Now I hope y'all have a good day, night, all that jazz. And you, as I always say, if it's it's hard right now. It'll get better. And if you don't think it will, it'll always get better. I promise. I promise. And, you know, just keep living. You matter. We all matter. Even if we don't think so. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. It will be the neck of Casey Jones figure. My friend will fucking hate this video because he doesn't like Casey Jones. But, yeah, that's it. Have a good day, night evening, morning, whatever, and I'll see you guys next time, love y'all, peace.